Just listen to a live performance uh, sung by none other than Anna Trepko and Jonas Kaufman. And I'm going to ask my next guest to correctly pronounce the title of that, that song. First of all, a good afternoon to you, Sarah Jane Brandon. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And now tell me what that song was called. Oh, Soave Fanchula. Oh, listen to that, my one day. She does it so beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> you are here to talk to us about uh, Cape Town Opera's very shortly to be seen on stage production of that much loved La Bohème. Mm-hmm. And you are playing quite an important role in that production. I am. You? <laughs> First of all, tell us what, what is your involvement in the show? You are playing? I'm playing uh, the main um, character, a uh, female character, uh, Mimi, mm-hmm. um, who is the tragic heroine of the story. And um, yeah, I've, this is my debut in the role. And I have to say, I absolutely love the character. I adore the opera. And it's a great privilege to be able to do it here in Cape Town. She is quite an interesting character, isn't she? She is, yeah. A little bit of a, like, a little bit like an onion. There's a few layers there that you need to <laughs> peel away. That's a good way to describe her. Actually, she's quite complex. She in, is in, in many ways. Yeah. Uh, love with him, of course. For those of us who do not know the opera well, in a nutshell, tell us what's the story all about. Well, it follows um, the story of a group of young um, artistic uh, people who we know as the Bohemians. And um, Mimi is very much a sort of outsider to this group of people. But, um, I, you know, for whatever reason, she's attracted to this group. And maybe, you know, it, we want to know maybe she might be just attracted to Rodolfo. Um, in our production, that isn't completely clear, except that um, I think that she is this kind of lonely girl, um, artistic person who wants to uh, belong to this group. And so she is invited in. Um, of course, she falls in love with Rodolfo. Mm. Um, she is ill at the beginning of the story. She has uh, consumption in the original, but in our version, she is dying of lung cancer. Interesting twist. Yes, I think it's, you know, I think it's good. I mean, of course, TB is something that we know very well in South Africa. Mm. Um, I think the horrors of lung cancer can be maybe a little bit more dramatic in terms of what we're presenting to the audience. Mm. Um, and also it is a disease that is degenerative. I mean, you know, you, you will die from it. So um, I, think it, I think it's a strong choice. Yeah, it is. It's, it's relevant. Yeah. And it's poignant. It is, yes. At the same time. Yeah. Uh, this production, uh, I know Matthew Wall's directing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, is this his final production before he leaves Cape Town Opera? Uh, I don't think it is. I think, <coughs> is he not doing uh, Fidelio? I'm not sure. I must actually go and double check. Yeah. The season is quite full, still I coming up. Yeah. Uh, Matthew Wald is directing it, and he has just done it in uh, in Germany, yes. didn't he? In, uh, in Switzerland, Sorry, I Switzerland. Think. In, yes, in uh, Bern. And how did it go? I believe it was a huge success. Um, he said that, um, and I've heard from other people that people really enjoyed it, and they. I think I think people will enjoy it. It tells the story very well, um, and it's entertaining, and it's tragic. It's very touching. It's just such a f- called it a fan favorite. It, yes, it's one of the classics. Exactly. Uh, there's just not. A, you know, there's no. There's no way that you cannot fall in love with Puccini's music. No, no, exactly. He was an absolute genius. And he just, was. He wrote. He wrote from the heart. Uh, yeah. I suppose, and from the head, but he wrote more from the heart, in my opinion. <laughs> Absolutely. Now you said this is your debut. Mm-hmm. For Cape Town Opera. It's my debut in the role, in the but role. To, but not for Cape Town Opera. Okay. How many productions have you done for Cape Town Opera before? Just one. Um, oh, I, I sang. I haven't seen you on stage a million times. Before. <laughs> I sang Desdemona here, yes. in the production of Otelier. Yes. I think it was about seven years seven ago years now. Ago, yeah. yeah. Oh, very innovative set that was. Set on a battleship. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That was a lovely production as well. And a big cast. Yes. Quite interesting. And this time, of course, we're not seeing the opera on the Opera House mm-hmm. stage. It's in the theatre. And I know, as you mentioned to me, off, it's mainly because the set has come from abroad and that theatre is much smaller than our Opera House mm-hmm. stage. And you don't want to let a set get lost on stage. So no. Rather stage it in the Opera House. And I believe it's pretty much sold out. Uh, I think it's entirely sold out. So, and unfortunately, unless um, you could beg, borrow, steal a ticket. There's always a way. <laughs> exactly. There's always a way. There's a will, there's a way. Absolutely. Our rehearsal going, everything all right? You guys ready? Uh, I think nearly, we're nearly there. We just started rehearsing with the orchestra yesterday. Today is a stage and orchestra, so um, I think all the pieces are coming together very well. 
You know, it's always the exciting time for production for me personally when you do your first zits, for instance, and the orchestra is involved. And you yes. Get, it's it's the first time you really realize what the sound yeah. is pretty much going to be like. Oh, absolutely. And the feeling, you know, just the feeling mm. of singing the phrases through with mm. an orchestra underneath you as opposed to a piano. Mm. Uh, it's such a different thing. It's it's easier in a way, actually. It's, so it was supposed to be at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah, We just exactly. can't have an orchestra with us in the reversal room every time. I know. What would a be pity. lovely. It would be lovely, <laughs> wouldn't it? it unfor- not unfortunately. Fortunately, because it would fit the sound of the theatre prob- better, is that I think this is probably going to be about a 28-piece orchestra because of the size of the pit in mm-hmm. the, the theatre. But still, the sound that comes out of that pit, even from yeah. a smaller orchestra, is still lovely and warm. Yeah. yeah. And will definitely fill the space. What are your plans for the near future, your personal plans, if I may ask? Uh, well, um, uh, I would like to say that I'll be doing a recital here in Cape Town on you the may. 25th of February at the Baxter, um, starting at 8 o'clock. And I would really like to encourage people to come along to that. I'll be performing with a friend of mine who is a pianist at the highest level, Gary Matthewman, and who has also now turned his skills to conducting, and he's here assisting Jeremy Silver on La Boheme. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll be bringing a wonderful program about the night Ooh. on that evening, and uh, I would love people to come to that, because I think um, I think you do get some leader recitals here in Cape Town, but, you know, here are two people who have done them quite frequently together, and um, it's a great program, so... Definitely something not to miss because yes. we do get them, but we do not get them often enough, yes. unfortunately. Exactly. Not. And um, yeah, and then I go back to the UK um, there for a, a couple of weeks, just uh, having a little bit of time off. And then I go to Dresden to do uh, Le Nozze di Figaro, singing oh. the Contessa. Oh. And I'm also doing Antonia in the Tales of Hoffman. So, um, you certainly have a full program busy, ahead of you. Busy, yeah, yeah. But, but that's a blessing, isn't that, it? it? Absolutely. That's nothing, the way it has to be. Nothing <laughs> but a blessing at the end of the day. Yeah. Now, you mentioned uh, the very important name of your musical director and conductor. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Excuse me, I've had a frog in the throat ever since I walked into the studio earlier. And um, we all know him by name, and mm-hmm. he's, uh, he's got a reputation of note. How's it been for you working with him? I. Uh, I have to say it's been such a pleasure. Um, I think he, besides the fact that he's an amazing musician, I think he's a wonderful human being. Always nice and, when it's somebody that um, understands his performance. Yeah, yeah. and uh, he really he knows the score inside out, back to front. Uh, he knows every word, and that really makes a huge difference, I think. Who else is on stage with you in roles of note, if I may ask? Uh, we have the wonderful Galeano Salas mm-hmm. as our Rodolfo, who is a young Mexican-American gentleman mm-hmm. who is based at the Bayerische Staatsopern Ensemble, and I think people will be very... Um, uh, yeah, they'll be really impressed by his wonderful singing and we have the wonderful William Berger singing Marcello <laughs> well he's singing the he's singing Marcello and we actually have on stage with us as well Brad Liebel who is playing the older Marcello and singing some of the smaller roles wow yeah and I see Brittany Smith also in Brittany Smith Tessele Kemane Libera Zemeni yes oh, you've got a cast and I see we have even got a few uh, <coughs> what's the right word to use a, f- a, f- a few uh, honorary appearances one yes. name very well known to Cape Town uh, audiences Aviva Pelham Aviva will be Pelham, seen on exactly. stage yes we all love Aviva. Yes, we do. It's going to be lovely, lovely to see Lovely to have I can just imagine. <laughs> yeah. Don't give her a microphone. <laughs> yeah, no, Jeremy Silver conducts the Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra. Uh, the set design is by Catherine Frosch, uh, with a costume design by Ingo Krugler. Uh, Corpus Rousseau is taking care of the lighting design and the choreography. It's done by Louisa Talbot. I had the great pleasure of interviewing Louisa before one of Cape Town Opera's previous operas, and I was amazed at how excited she was about the fact that she finally got some opera singers to to, to dance oh. and to do <laughs> choreography of note on a stage. No, she's phenomenal. This sounds like it's going to be a fantastic performance or fantastic season. It's not a very long one. 14, 16, 18, 20 and 22 February mm-hmm. at the Artscape Theatre. From uh, what I believe, it looks like it's sold out. So no point in telling me to, for you to go to Compu Ticket. But you never know. Somebody might have cancelled their ticket and you can still get one. They would have ranged True. between 150 and 325 rand at Compu Ticket. It might just be worthwhile having a little look-see and see if you can get one. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I, I will just say break a leg. <laughs> Thanks. In the best possible way. <laughs> um, Puccini's La Bohème uh, 
is happening right here at the Artscape Theatre from the 14th until the 22nd with performances on the 14th, 16th, 18th, 20th and 22nd of February. Uh, we hope you're going to have a fantastic time and good luck for the, for the other ventures overseas. Thank you. Thank uh, you very it's much. It's going to be fabulous. Thanks.